I just received an order that I placed from Creative Notions Quilt Shop. I'll put the link below how you can get to them. But she was having a sale on green fabric. It is March and it's St. Patrick's Day and I don't know if it's still going on, but I got a couple yards of each of these different greens. And part of that is because I have a project coming up and I need green fabric. Let's see. How's that? <laughs> so this is, I've shown you this before, but this is the fabric. And we had a little powwow with the people that will be getting this to find out what they wanted. And I need to find a green that matches that. So I have a good variety of greens here. We'll see, we'll see what, what works. I don't know if it'll be either one of those. It's kind of pretty. Anyway, so I got that. I also picked up this circle. This, this is a magnetic pincushion because I am not doing well with the poke in stick the pin cushion, if that makes sense. So this will be great. Oh, I can just drop the pins in there. You may have seen, this is actually one of my favorite ways to store pins. It's just in this little, is it Rubbermaid? Yeah, Rubbermaid container. And I just move it back and forth and, anyway, I need, oh, that's very magnetic. I need something like this at the other end of this table so I don't have to carry my thing back and forth. So that was a needed thing. This comes in different colors. This last week I posted a video for the Sweetwater um, quarterly subscription box. So go back and look for that. This is a quick overview of what projects they sent patterns for and the pattern and the fabric. So go look for that video if you want to learn more about that. I placed an order through Fat Quarter Shop and I got this. It's Free Spirit. It is Tula Pink. It is called Mythical Tula Pink Solids. And she does like a daily deal, and this was in her daily deal. This is normally I want to say like $48 for this. I got it on sale with her daily deal and it is so pretty and I paid about half of that. I also picked up from her this loveliness fat quarter friendly pattern. And this pattern called all boxed up Missouri Star Quilt Company sent me an order last week and I ordered a bunch of three yard cuts of some blenders and in that I also ordered this. Isn't that cute? And this. This is called Emperor's Treasure. I'm going to take out the cellophane. It is Island Batiks. And I'll put a swatch of that up if I can find it. Aren't those pretty? <laughs> Look for that swatch on the screen here. So the three yard cuts I picked up were just a bunch of just basics like blue, gold, red, brown, gray. <laughs> They're already stuffed in my shelf, but they're nothing exciting to look at, but they're just really nice blenders. I have t-shirts that are available for sale and it's through a print on demand company. You have to go to my Etsy store. Um, the link will be in the description. It's at soft squares on Etsy and you can get um, the different t-shirts. You pick your color, your size, and your, your saying that you want on it. Well, I have to buy the t-shirts just like you guys do, but I do get a discount um, and they limit me to just a couple a month. So I'm slowly 
getting them so I can add them to my stash so I also have them and know how the sizes are running on them. So I ordered this one. And I ordered this one again. I say again because I ordered this might have even been six months ago and it came in really really small and it was labeled the right size but it definitely was not so I did a drawing and I gave it away and so one of my viewers got that shirt and she loves it it was actually in the same color but I still wanted this so I finally redid it and I went up a size just in case that had to do with sizing and I do think the sizes were true I just think that t-shirt was mislabeled because this, this t-shirt's too big, but that's okay. Too big, I can at least get into. <laughs> so, um, and I got one more thing, and that is this. And I'm just excited to share. It has um, how I designed it, which is basically my logo. And then inside, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little teeny tiny little dots. It's perfect for drafting and sketching, sewing stuff. And it's just a little book. So I got my little merchandise. I did this quilt on Maker's Monday this week. It's still here. We'll see if I, when I get around to quilting it. I'm gonna try to quilt it myself. I need more practice on my machine. But you can see it's sandwiched together with the back. But isn't that cute? <laughs> my Sweet 16 is up and running. I'm so excited, so I've been playing on it just doodling and doing some freehand stuff. I don't really have anything to show for it, but I have been busy playing with it, and I'm so excited that it's working. So Rebecca from my girlfriend's quilt shop, the manager in the Orem store, the one that I did the quilt shop tour with, you'll also find that in my videos. She's the one that came and looked at it, and she is a handy quilter. Um, she worked for them for many years, and she still does stuff periodically so she's a good reference so if you guys happen to have a handy quilter she said that she would love it if you have questions on anything quilting related long arm anything handy quilter anything just sewing she would love to help you out so just give them a call and the number for that I will try to put on the screen but she's a great resource and a great lady I am still in the process of cutting out blocks for my random quilt of just solo quilt blocks. I could call them orphans, but to me an orphan is what was left over from a project. And these are, they've always been solo. So I'm gonna not call it an orphan, but it still is an orphan. I just made this really cute block. It's almost done. I wouldn't say maybe two thirds of the way done because there's still quite a bit to do with it. The block itself is assembled though, and it's almost all applique. This bottom section right here are one and a half inch blocks to make the grass. And the rest of this has been pressed on using steam -a seam And all I need to do now is do a blanket stitch around each of these items. So um, I could leave it if I don't ever plan on washing it. I think just to play it safe, I want to do the applique. I think it would be cute, but you probably could leave it if it, you have no intention of it ever being washed. But I will be getting to that at some point. I was cutting out the pieces for it and I just got so excited to work on it. I just did it. So <laughs> I'm adding it to my pile of um, blocks that I'm cutting out. And here's another one that I did. This is what it's supposed to look like. And I did it backwards. So she's going the wrong direction, but I don't know if it matters. It's just, I didn't follow directions very well. And that's the whole block. And what this is, is it's a 2019, um, like a shop hop type project from the um, fabric warehouse. And they had it like dirt cheap because it's old, you know, older and they were just, they had extras. So I picked this up a little bit ago, probably a couple years ago and just been sitting on it. And then in addition to that, I have another one. This one I did cut out the pieces and there's actually a lot to it, but it is making this. It's also from the same quilt store. It's just a different year and there's four blocks. So that's broken down into four sections. 
oh, sorry. So you've got the, the engine and then you have the fabric bolts. You have the fabric thread. Sorry, there's five sections. You have the caboose and then you have this little house. And there's actually three little pinwheel blocks in there as well as the spools of thread and the bolts of fabric. So really cute. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with all these. I'm thinking I'm gonna put them in one big hodgepodge, hodgepodgey <laughs> quilt, but I'm thinking maybe I'll just make a whole bunch of little quilts. I don't know, we'll see. But I don't have the size on here. It very well might be the exact same size, but turned sideways. It does not say. It did, let's see if it gives me the idea what each block is. Except there's five sections. And there's a little bit of applique. The, the wheels are going to be applique and the rest of it's going to be pieced. So those little yellow wheels. It does not say anything about how big it's going to be. And since it's a lonely thing, there's nothing that goes with it. The final, sign does, final size does not matter. It's just whatever I decide I want it to be. But I was just curious what I'm in for. <laughs> All right, so there's that. But yeah, I've got each of my blocks because they're all labeled and in their little bags. Reb Stab Stash, I have a couple more blocks to cut out from the things that they had sent out last year. This one, it is actually a table topper, but it had a block of the month. So there's one, but then you make four of them to make the table topper. So I'm going to include this as a block in my big fun quilt. And it is actually part of a, of this, which is from Riley Blake and it's Mr. Rogers neighborhood. And so what we're doing is we're just making this section, this tree and this little house and maybe I will revisit that because there are actually three sections, one, two, and I could still add that house. I'm kind of liking that idea, maybe I will. Anyway, right now I've got it cut out to do that much, which is what the blocks are and their table runner, table topper. So just like the others, I've got them in their little baggies the house and the tree and I'm keeping all my extra fabric. I did switch this one up just a tiny bit from the fabric that she sent. Um, they sent a blue polka dot and I decided to use a solid blue for the background and then I think I might have thrown another actually I don't think I did. Oh the rooftop. I made it a black with a little teeny dot. So I did change those two fabrics out. Um, and then I made my house the red one. There is fabric in this kit for all four. And again, that's gonna be put aside. And when I get to it, you will know. I have a couple new patterns. One is this really cute one called Room with a View. It is by Annie.com. These are square little bags that actually are um, stiff. So they have some body to them and it has a peekaboo window. So you can see what you have in there and you can put uh, all kinds of things in there. Sturdy zippered bins in three sizes. It also includes a tutorial that you have access to. And I don't know if it has the sizes of those. You are using vinyl for that little window. Okay, so the small box is eight and a half by eight and a half by eight and a half. So it's a cube. And actually all of these are, the medium is 10 and a half and the large is 12 and a half. So they are square, a true cube. I'm more excited about this other pattern. These are project bags. So I can make bags with vinyl front, zipper, little pockets, a 
the handle. It's very similar to the bags that were used in Creative Notions a couple months ago that I am using for one of my Christmas quilts. So you can make them a good size. So it says four versatile sizes. It also comes with a code to get to the download for, or the pattern video project bags. Let's see. What, oh, four sizes. Small is six and a half by ten and a half. Medium is ten and a half by twelve and a half. Large is thirteen and a half by thirteen and a half. And jumbo is sixteen and a half by sixteen and a half. And I'm really, really, really wanting to make these to help organize my projects and even just for helping to organize when I go to quilting retreats or other places where I'm bringing my machine and need to bring more stuff. So I've been doing that one soon. I like machine embroidery. I'm going to be doing more of it and I bought this. This is an embroidery design company, OESD. I'm not sure what it stands for, but it's very well known. Um, I bought it at a Bernina shop and I know that the Bernina machines and the stores use a lot of these, but they have files for all the different machine types and mine are fast, so it will work. But it has 25 collections, 619 designs, and this has everything on a USB file and it's volume one. So I don't know how many volumes there are, but I was really impressed by all the things these are just a quick overview of the different programs, but it also comes with a book. And you don't usually get books. You usually have to print them out yourself. But there's so many options in here of different types of things. Different, there's projects, there's applique, there's puppy, continuous line. Uh, they even show you making how to make a card more applique. These are greeting cards. So there's a lot of different prog <laughs> programs in here. Um, gift card holder and the hoop just, oh look, a cactus. <laughs> you can get a bunch of little cactus. So it's kind of a sampler and I don't have many of these things and so it was something worth looking at. So here's some more. So. I wanna show you something. I have been working on this little tiny little quilt. It's 18 by 22, just a small wall hanging. And I think I am gonna leave it as a standalone instead of putting it in what I thought was gonna be a hodgepodge of fun, unique quilt blocks. And I may or may not still do that, or I might just make them all individual little single quilts. I don't really know. But anyway, this will be standalone. So it's called Fierce Ladies, which is a name of the houses in San Francisco that are on the hill with all their bright colors, the townhouses. So this is named after that. And then they're, they're calling this dollhouse size. And so I wanted to do something fun like this as far as colors. I picked some bright colored batiks. These are what I'm using. So look how fun. So I cut my pieces out and this is what was left. They were fat eights. Um, I couldn't make it work with a charm pack because it called for several three and a half inch pieces of the same color fabric. So I wouldn't need a charm pack that had at least two of everything. So that could work. But I decided to use this because I like the colors and I have everything picked out. <laughs> I have all 16 little houses together individually with their sets. And so there's four pieces, no, three pieces for the house, plus the door, plus the roof, plus a trim piece. So there's six 
little pieces of 16 different little houses and they're all in here and then here's the backing for that and that's it for this I mean what's left is to add a binding and I think I'm going to take the fabric from here and make um, my binding with it and I I could put a border on it I don't know if I will or not I'll keep you posted on what I end up doing on that uh, this looks like it will come together really easy I still have, keep all my little extra pieces and these might even be incorporated in something. Or I can make a couple of these, like maybe five or six <laughs> out of the same fabric. Anyway, that was, that's been a fun little project. Like I said, I'll keep you posted as I work on it. I'm gonna spend a bunch of time sewing together these little blocks for my reflections. Try to get caught up. This week makes four and I have four almost put together. I found another little pattern that I thought I would possibly do, just like I did with the house. This is what it looks up like up close. It's called Go Go Girly. It is 16 by 18. They've made it into a pillow with a ruffle, and it has a lot of hand embroider with the applique. I think I could do this with machine embroider and just do a cute little um, blanket stitch to hold the fabrics down. This is the applique pattern for the Go Go Girly. And it has a lot of specialty stitches. So maybe I will take some time and, and do that. I'll at least do the applique like I did here. And they have instructions in the pattern showing you how to do different types of stitches in case you did not know how to do it. Regardless, I think she's cute. That might be fun. Turn her in just to a block. I'll let you know what I end up doing. Hey, come on Monday. I'm going to show you how I made this quilt. It's really easy. No pattern. Mondays at 3 o'clock is when I do Makers Monday, and that's 3 o'clock Mountain Time every Monday. And don't forget, I do uh, the Saturday situation on every Saturday at 3 o'clock. So 3 p.m. Mountain on Saturdays and Mondays is when I post. And like I said, come back to see what I'm doing with that on Monday. I have a lot of fun projects that I'm working on, so come back often and see what I'm doing. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Talk to you soon. See you later. Come back yet. Come back soon. Come back soon.